Arts class. Gabby, what'd you learn? Well, Ben and Sarah, fortunately, the woman in that video is okay first and foremost, and she was able to fight off her attacker. And the woman that I spoke to tonight said that that is exactly what they want to be able to do if they were to ever find themselves in a similar situation. Surveillance video from a Tampa, Florida apartment complex shows the terrifying moments a man approaches a woman in the gym and grabs her, but she fights back and doesn't give up until she's able to get away. I did see the video. I was so proud of that woman. She fought. She fought back. I mean, she was striking. Even when she got to the ground, she was whole It was, I was pretty impressed. It's exactly what Tracy D. Giovancarlo teaches her students to do. You take it out, you take it out. <laughs> She leads a women's self-defense class at East Coast Training Systems in Waterbury with the goal of giving women the skills to defend themselves in a dangerous situation. Self-defense isn't anything fancy. There's no spinning crescent kicks and crazy stuff. It's quick, efficient, dirty, get in, you get out. The most important thing is for you to get out. And unfortunately, it's a concern at the top of many women's minds. It's a crazy world out there, and I just want to feel a little more protected being a young, small girl um, in a crazy world. And while the viral video happened hundreds of miles away in Florida, it serves as a scary reminder of the dangers women face. I was going to bring it in today and show her and be like, what do I do? Because he got her on the ground in the video, and that's my worst nightmare is them being like, what do you do when they're on top of you? That's so scary. That's why during the eight week course, they start with the basics. You're gonna throw a front palm and a rear palm, but your hands are gonna go directly back to your head, right from one to the other. Yes, good. And practice how to get out of different scenarios so that women leave feeling confident. Every time that you're striking and you're doing it properly, your brain is remembering it, right? But D. Giovancarlo says she also teaches her students that awareness is one of the biggest tools they can have. Look around, see what's going on around. Is somebody looking at you funny? Is somebody walking at you? Are they approaching you? Notice them before they get right on top of you. Now, the man in that video was arrested less than 24 hours after the incident. He was charged with sexual battery, false imprisonment, and kidnapping. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. It's an important story, Gabby. Thank you. We are following breaking news.